main way viruses spread is when you touch your own mouth. And what are your favorite flourishes? So guys, I was browsing the Instagram and uh, suddenly just stumbled upon a video, one of the series of videos that Dan Buck has been posting for about a month now. As you know, Dan Buck is responsible for basically me starting this channel uh, with uh, a bunch of my friends and then probably is responsible for many of you just doing some basic chemistry. So basically I'll be commenting over a video of Dan Buck. Uh, free content thank you dan talk about the basic flourishes that i guess many of you should know if you're new to the game of course or maybe you'll find a fair few flourishes that you maybe want to get some tips on today i thought it would be fun to do my top 10 favorite card flourishes these aren't all mine uh, it's a pretty uh, eclectic mix of very very old flourishes um original creations and flourishes from other other guys out there so uh up first and this is in no particular order i just made a list and randomized it so up first is the deck flip the deck flip is a really fast and quick almost like micro flourish that might be a good name for it but it's just a quick little fidget move with the deck of cards and the deck flips around 360 degrees very fun to do you probably see me do this all the time, just while I'm talking. The deck flip is arguably one of the uh, flourishes that most of the cardists, and especially when you're into magic, you probably should be familiar with this flourish as well. The tip that I can give you guys that uh, you have seen Dan dropping a card on the video, it happens to the best of us. Maybe some kind of bending of a deck towards one side like you do with under pressure. Then the chances of you doing a proper TJ Murphy deck flip is a better rather than with a card being stuck out. If you have still cards flying off your deck, maybe it's because your deck isn't really uh, bent well into one direction so you need to do the Jim Murphy deck flip and maybe do one swing cut try it one more time I see common mistakes people are doing when you just toss in the deck uh, there's a bigger chance of you dropping the cards when you're doing it neatly like that there's a chance of you actually performing a TG Murphy deck flip and not dropping any cards so my suggestion would be just flicking with your index finger like that and uh, do it like literally try half a turn then it's not even a TG Murphy deck flip, it's just half a deck flip. And uh, then try to emulate the same motion when you're rotating the entire deck 180. So uh, actually 360. Like that. Yeah, that was developed by a magician by the name of TG Murphy. And if you want to follow me, he wrote this really good book back in the day called Imagication. If you can find a copy of this, it is highly recommended. There's so many cool things in this book, um, including some cardistry, some early, early cardistry, before cardistry was even a thing. But yeah, this is a really fun book. Highly recommended. Um, check eBay or Google. <laughs> All right, back on topic. If I keep doing that, this video is going to go forever. <laughs> Uh, up next is the LePaul spread. This is one of my favorite, this might be my all-time favorite flourish. It's just so mechanical. It almost looks as though the cards shoot out of your hands automatically. We have a tutorial from Dan Buck himself on our channel. We filmed that at Cardisicon in 2018 and uh, he covered briefly the way how he does the basic LePaul spread that looks like this and of course he covered uh, the S-shaped lipold spread. You have to be really committed to this flourish and you will ruin a lot of decks before you actually nail the perfect technique and it will still take you weeks and months of practice to refine the flourish and to make it even bigger, to make sure that cards are sliding one at a time, to make sure that the flow of the flourish is correct. Maybe easier to do with a well-broken in deck for some people, for others it's easier to do with a brand new deck. 
nonetheless we have a tutorial on that and we will leave the link in description so that they can learn it and by the way the cars that i'm using are bicycle rummies uh, these are arguably my favorite deck of all time because these are really cheap and uh, despite i noticed people selling these for 30 bucks a deck which is really impressive and uh, let alone uh, for any deck from ohio this is really high price but still on ebay i saw people listing used decks of bicycle rami for 15 bucks so if you're really desperate to get one of these we have a few in our shop and besides we're selling used decks as a part of our charity sale where we usually sell these cards but you can get a random deck but usually it's bicycle rammies because these are what i'm mainly using right now for practice i believe these are out of production and of course you can't get the same quality from ohio and there's a reason for that because the quality of the cutting of the deck the paper uh, the printing process was uh, really tough notch back then so we have still these in stock make sure you check them out and uh, let's get straight to the next flourish very iconic flourish which is next on my list um, i put this on my list just because it's a classic and it's very striking it's still it's still one of my favorites so speaking about the card spring we have a tutorial on that as well on our channel there's uh, i believe five to even ten versions of card sprint that you can perform this is something that i really enjoy doing uh, nonchalantly when i'm just you know watching uh, espn series the last dance by the way have you watched that and uh, let me know in the comments what are your opinions so basically what i do for the card sprint i do this thin sprint which is really satisfying to do and to watch compared to standard sprint or of course if you want to show off you can do the sonic sprint that andre really likes to perform that looks something like that but there's a huge chance that you will ruin your deck really quickly if you will be doing the sonic sprint getting really hard on that as well so this thin sprint we have a tutorial on that on our channel make sure to check out the description really satisfying to do iconic flourish that you should probably master if not you you have at least to master the standard sprint which is kind of basic but still up next um the pressure fan a classic way to fan a deck of cards and that's what it looks like what's nice about the pressure fan is that you can do this little flourish which was accidentally created while trying to learn the pressure fan by a magician by the name of michael vile who i believe still lives in santa monica california uh, we have a tutorial on that i mean i'll be repeating that over and over because you will be typing in the comments where can i learn that flourish so we have a tutorial on classic thumb fan that looks like this and uh, speaking about the pressure fan it's kind of knacky if you're not uh, familiar with uh, the technique i believe i didn't even uh, learn it in the first year of me doing cardistry and uh, i learned it later the first flourish i learned ironically was under pressure that dan has covered already and we have a video on tips under under pressure as well but i would suggest you mastering the pressure fan first because the motion of like doing this kind of thing which is really similar to the uh card spring the motion is pretty much the same so you do the pr pressure fan which looks like this and then you just let go at the middle and you perform the under pressure flourish which is really really nice one of the favorite flourishes to perform easy to impress audience if you're into that of course but still some of the flourishes that i'm performing nonchalantly when i am breaking in a brand new deck or when i'm just fiddling with a deck of cards is under pressure up next the worm this is an original um creation of dave and i's and we created it so long ago that we don't remember who created it or who came up with it <laughs> i'll give dave credit though um it seems like a dave a dave flourish we kind of have our own styles but yeah this is the worm so the worm has been taught on the trilogy i believe it is also available for a separate purchase on theory 11 and uh, i think you can still buy it on the art of magic which was transferred to vanishing ink it's really easy i mean you can learn it from the performance pretty much but looks really cool and uh, for the audience anything that has more than three packets and uh, you can display that for a certain amount of time is impressive i'm not sure if uh, this flourish will impress someone in 2020 because it was invented basically in 2005 or something like that still nonetheless i've seen a lot of people performing 
uh, crazy variations on the worm. Uh, make sure to check out their Instagrams. Uh, maybe some of the people that we follow on our Instagram. By the way, do you follow us on Instagram? You should because we post different giveaways as well over there. A lot of content, uh, announcements. And one of these announcements was for our stickers. If you haven't checked them yet, uh, make sure you do so. With every order, we give away at least one sticker. With uh, some orders, we give away two stickers. So all the details will be in the description below as well. Judo Flip, my favorite one-handed flourish by Franco Piscali. But yeah, I love this thing. And it's false. It's not really a cut. It's, it's a flourish because you can see the packet starts on top and ends on top. I love how it flows. And it's just another little fidget or micro, micro flourish you can do just while talking. Yeah, speaking about the Judo Flip, it is based on the Muse Cut by Henrik Forberg. And there is still a debate whether Henrik came up with a Muse Cut. So Muse Cut looks like this. And it is a proper cut. So you take a portion of the cards from the top of the deck, rotate them, and uh, you end up in this situation. So for the Judo Flip, you do pretty much the same. But at this point, you're just putting this uh, part on the top of the deck. I think a really cool application for that would be performing Judo Flip as a proper cut when you're doing some kind of sliding, going straight into the motion of the judo flip. So instead of doing this, which is also satisfying, really satisfying to do, you can split the portion of the cards from the bottom of the deck and perform judo flip straight away. Up next is Friffle. Friffle is another favorite. I keep saying that, but that's why they're on my top 10. <laughs> if you're interested in learning this, he also has a tutorial on his YouTube channel called Dealer's Grip. But this is actually a really old move uh, found in a Jerry Andrus book, which is somewhere on this bookshelf. It's called Andrus Deals You In. If you can find it, incredible card work, including a lot of flourishes from like back in the 70s. I'm not sure when exactly the book came out, but it's pretty old. If you own the book that Dan is mentioning, make sure to leave a comment and uh, tell me whether you have found something similar to Freefall, because Freefall is uh, one of those flourishes that uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with. If not, there is a tutorial on Dealer's Grip channel, like Dan said, and you can learn it. And uh, in our video, the best combos that we ever know in cardistry and card magic, we perform the Freefall, and instead of going into the basic cascade, you can perform Water Band, which is uh, another gorgeous move. And it looks even cooler than that. So freefall is better performed with a brand new deck. My other tip would be uh, when you're doing a freefall, like when you're preparing the deck for a freefall from a fire shuffle, you're inserting the cards. And let's assume you have this kind of situation. So you inserted the cards into the interview on the cards, basically. And you can't really start a freefall because this card should be over here and it will fall off if you do the freefall. Like, you see, it's falling down. So let's assume you have this situation, what I usually do, and it kind of looks cool on video as well. I've done that in a few videos of mine. So I just slide this card downwards. It looks kind of elegant when you do this uh, properly. And then you can do the free fall and uh, go into whatever type of cascade uh, you want, which is really convenient to perform. Up next, the one-handed shuffle, a classic. Everyone should learn the one-handed shuffle that plays with cards. That was bad, so let me do it again. Yeah. This is like the card spring, it's just a classic. You show this to laymen and instantly they know you mean business. You're a serious card player. <laughs> For the one-handed shuffle, we actually have a tutorial on our site and have a tutorial on our channel. And uh, what you do is you interview the cards and shuffle them with one hand. For our Cosmos project, Cardistry project, which we released in 2014, I believe, just interview the cards and instead we do the inverted version of one-handed shuffle, which looks like this. Just split the cards, interweave. We have a tutorial on our channel and it is kind of hidden. The one-handed shuffle will be available once our classic tutorial for the Riffle Shuffle, Ferro Shuffle reaches a thousand either likes or dislikes. If you want, you can go over to the Twitter. We'll leave the link in the description. Drop a like. It should be unlocked pretty soon. Next is the Buckshot. I love this thing. I do it all the time. It's just a, a card throw from a classic palm. A classic palm is where you conceal a card in your palm. That's why it's called classic palm. 
but you can produce it on demand and shoot it from hand to hand. It's just fun to do. If you want to learn the flourish called uh, Buckshot, uh, we have a tutorial from originator himself, Dave Buck, on our channel. We uh, filmed that during Cardistricon in 2018. It's actually such a bummer that we can't attend Cardistricon this year. Still, you can learn some flourishes and spend your time in your confinement by refining all the techniques. So, a neat idea would be uh, to perform one-handed top palm in the action of gesturing towards the audience and then out of nowhere you produce a card and perform the buckshot. So basically perform one hand chop palm, produce a card and then perform the buckshot, which is free to learn on our channel as well. The last one, prequel. Um, I think there used to be a tutorial on this online. I took it down years ago. Um, maybe someone else teaches it, but it's kind of hard to teach because there's a lot of freaking moves in this one. <laughs> But um, if you're interested in learning that, I could probably do an over-the-shoulder, maybe slow-motion video one day. That'd be nice. The story of prequel is kind of interesting. I believe back in 2010, uh, when uh, Dan and Dave were promoting their Smoke and Mirrors deck, they used to have a YouTube channel back then, can you imagine that? And uh, they uploaded uh, the prequel tutorial for the first time by mistake. They quickly took the video off, but then as a part of promotion and uh, probably realizing their mistake, Dan and Dave decided to release this video and make it public. And that's how most of us uh, mere mortals managed to learn it. It's a really fun flourish and like Dan said, it isn't really easy to teach that. All I have to do is just maybe search for tutorial, maybe someone has saved it on YouTube and uh, maybe wait for Dan to teach that. But yeah, top 10, I'll keep it short. Thanks for watching, cheers. All the tutorials links will be in the description. If you have any other flourishes that you think should be included in this list uh, or that uh, I and actually Dan missed and I just covered all of these, let me know in the comments. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. До побачення!